In the early 1800s, the British Royal Navy was the envy of the world. With more than 700 warships at its disposal, it was an unmatched military power on the open seas. So when the United States declared war on Great Britain in 1812, with the strategy of moving the British out of Canada, the question was, how could a fleet of just 22 U.S. ships stand up to the greatest naval power the world had ever known? For U.S. military strategists, the answer lay inland, on the Great Lakes, waters that were out of reach of the Royal Navy's seafaring fleets. This left the British improvising with whatever vessels they could find. Though the British and their allies controlled most of the lakes, there was a pivotal link in the chain, Lake Erie. Under the command of Oliver Hazard Perry, U.S. forces spent the summer of 1813 recruiting seamen and building vessels along the shores of Lake Erie. By September 10th, the Battle of Lake Erie was on. When his ship, the USS Lawrence, was severely damaged by British cannon fire, Perry took command of another ship, the USS Niagara, and charged into the British line, securing victory. We have met the enemy and they are ours, he declared in a letter to Major General William Henry Harrison following the British surrender. Their victory at the Battle of Lake Erie gave the Americans a much-needed morale boost and allowed them to capture Detroit, Michigan. Alongside the triumph at the Battle of Lake Champlain, the war swung in favor of the U.S. But a long-running campaign to seize control of the St. Lawrence River, which provided a clear supply route through Montreal and into Quebec City, ended in failure. When in 1814, the British unleashed a 112-gun battleship on Lake Ontario, finally cementing control of one of the most important strategic waterways along the frontier. The fledgling U.S. Navy fought bravely to secure control of the lakes and scored key victories, but Britain's naval forces on the Great Lakes ultimately protected its Canadian colonies in the north. Why is control of waterways and bodies of water so important during wartime? 